So the sixth house is the house of health. It's the house of pets. It's where you can see the relationship between you and your fur babies. It's absolutely hands down, completely the house of Virgo. So when you have to deal with issues with anxiety. Hey, whoa, hold up. I got a question. Can, can I help you? What the hell is that red line next to the crescent moon thingy? in that triangle you're calling the sixth house. What the hell? You know what? No, what's what's that red line? Oh, oh okay. Uh, an opposition is where two planetary bodies or more, depending on if there's a stellium in play on either side, are 180 degrees away. In layman's terms, please. I understand all that astrology mumbo jumbo mess you spit now. You mean in layman's terms. Oh, okay, I can do that. Uh. An opposition is basically where a bunch of buddies are on one side of the table and then the other bunch of buddies are on the other side of the table and they're fighting and... You know what? Fuck it. Let's just get to the video. Hey, 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 y'all. My name is Spiritually Southern Mama. Welcome to Stars and Cards. Today, we're going to do an educational astrology video on the five major aspects in astrology. Here they are right here for y'all. We have conjunctions. We have sextiles. We have trines. We got squares. And finally, we got oppositions. So we're going to jump right on into it by just explaining these aspects in human relationships that everybody can understand. A lot of people get caught up on the astrological jargon, and I'm not here to explain astrology that way. There are a million other YouTubers in astrology who are doing it like that. I'm here to get the information out there so that way y'all can understand. All right, so first up, we got conjunctions. So let's talk about what a conjunction is, right? In astrological terms, it's two planetary bodies side by side, usually varying between zero and 10 degrees. Let's break it down. Think about if you're in a subway car with somebody and you got to sit real close next to them because there's a lot of people on the car and neither one of you can really move until one of you gets off at your stop. That's the energy of a conjunction, okay? So it's two planets, their energies are just jiving together. And until one of them moves, it's going to be that way. So it could be Mars and Jupiter, could be Mars and Saturn. Uh, you never know. So that is a conjunction in its basis, guys. It's just two planets that are stuck together and their energies jive until one or the other moves. You might hear the buzzword in astrology of a person has a stellium. Basically, in layman's terms, that's a conjunction of more than two planets, right? So it'll be Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn all in a huge conjunction together, and that makes up a stellium. So basically, it's more than two people crammed in a subway car, and they just got to jive with whatever energy is present. So a sextile is pretty much, in astrology terms, a 60-degree space between one planet and another. And in layman's terms, it's basically you and a friend. Y'all aren't besties, but y'all are all right. Y'all are polite, civil, and respectable of each other. And that's the energy between sextile aspects. So they aren't at trine level, but they aren't also at conjunction level either. They're not stuck with each other. They're happy with each other and everything's okay. It's an easy flowing aspect. So a tron in astrological terms is one planet 120 degrees away from another. So it's close to an opposition, but it's not quite an opposition yet. Trines have a really good relationship with each other. And in layman's terms, think about you and your best friend. Y'all tell each other everything. Y'all know each other's secrets inside and out. And the relationship between two planets trining each other is the same way. Their energies align really well. And it's a really easy aspect for the person having a trine in their chart or a trine in their progression. Now we get into the harder aspects of the video. So now we're going to start talking about squares. In astrological terms, a square is a 90 degree angle between one planet and another. So it's a little bit harder for the energy to kind of flow. Think about you and your worst enemy, right? Y'all two will never agree on anything. Y'all fight a lot. Y'all get into it with each other. And you just try and avoid each other the best that you absolutely can. That's the energy of a square. There's a lot of lessons that can be learned in squares, but you have to first get past the energy flow being broken and disrupted. Does that make sense? I hope so. Let me know how it jives with you in the comments. And lastly, we have an opposition. So an opposition in astrological terms is one planet 
180 degrees across the chart away from the other. Think about it in layman's terms. You and your mom are sitting across the table having a heated discussion. If you two can look at each other's side and kind of find the meeting in the middle ground and compromise, you'll learn the lesson and you'll be fine. But if you don't, then the two of you will constantly be fighting and that energy just won't jive the way it's supposed to. That's the energy of an opposition and astrological chart. Alrighty, y'all, those were the five major aspects explained in both the astrological terms and the layman's terms. Let me know what you learned in the comments from this video. And remember, every single Wednesday, Spiritually Southern puts out an astrological education video. So before you know it, you'll not only be able to read your own natal chart, but your friends too. Let me know what you want to see next week. Do you want to learn about the houses? Do you want to learn about the planets? Would you like to know the history of tropical astrology or modern astrology as we know it? Would you like to learn the different types of astrology that most people use in modern history today? Let me know. With all of that being said, I'll see y'all wonderful people later. Next video will be out on Sunday and it'll be on the Neptune Retrograde. So make sure you subscribed and stay tuned.